G'day guys, welcome back to the Rugby League Guru Podcast. The Teamless Tuesday has just dropped for round 26, our second last one of mm. the regular season. A big one too, there's plenty to touch on. Captain Du, shall we just rip and tear into it? Let's just get right into it. Let's start with the first game of the week. This will be on Thursday, Cowboys to host the Storm up at Queensland Country Bank Stadium. Kick off 7.50 p.m. Now, this one equally might be uh, the Cowboys the easiest of all time. 1-17, to 17, except Tamalolo comes back in. Good news there. Good for the minutes of Ruben Cotter and these guys. I don't think he'll play huge minutes, Tamalolo. Uh, as for the Melbourne Storm, uh, good God, take a seat. Uh, so a lot of guys rested. So I thought I'd just read through their team for you guys. Ryan Pappenhausen will line up at fullback. On the wings, Dean Iorima and Sua Falongo. Marion Seve and young Tonomapea line up in the centres. Cameron Munster still playing at 5'8". Grant Anderson, funnily enough, will line up at halfback. An interesting move there. In the front row, Lazarus Valipu. I'm excited to see him get more minutes in this one. He'll be partnered with Christian Welsh. Tyron Wishart will take the spot of Harry Grant in Jersey 9. On the edges, Kane Bradley and Joe Chan, who re-signed today with the Melbourne Storm. Congratulations to him. And Alec McDonald will wear Jersey 13. The bench for the Melbourne Storm, Keegan Russell-Smith, I believe, making his debut. Shout out to Keegan. Obviously left the Penrith Panthers a couple of years ago, made his way down to the Melbourne Storm. Congratulations to him. Tebai Moroa, uh, Lasati, and Powell uh, as well there. So uh, a couple of debutants there, I believe, or at least one debutant there for the Melbourne Storm. Uh, and the extended bench features uh, some young guys as well. It also has Josh King, Trent Lear, and Nick Meany. I would say... Uh, that's simply because they probably didn't have enough guys to put on their team sheet. I very highly doubt <laughs> those guys will feature in this one or even get on the plane up there. So uh, that's your Melbourne Storm team list, guys. Uh, obviously, you know, they've earned the opportunity to rest guys and I know a lot of people are complaining about them. I say credit to them. You've put yourself in 100%. this spot. Do your fucking thing. That's what um, this is about. Exactly right. Friday night, Kat, what do we got? Well, Friday night's action kicks off with the Bulldogs versus the Manly Seagulls. This one is 6 p.m. at Accor Stadium. Man, I hope some of you Seagulls fans, I hope you travel over the bridge and make your way there because yeah. this is going to be an absolute – Cracker. Uh, I I think this is season-defining for both clubs, personally. So Huge too. game, especially the Seagulls. Uh, for the Bulldogs, Stephen Crichton's obviously out. Uh, he got so one-week suspension off the back of last week, which was wild. Less said, the better. Uh, Kiraz moves to centre. Will Skelton uh, comes in at – Jarrell Skelton, sorry. Will Skelton of plays for the Wallabies fame. Uh, Jarrell Skelton comes in on the wing. Josh Curran back on the bench, which is good to see. And Jamin Salmon jumps into Jersey 13 for the injured Kurt Mann. For the Seagulls. Very interesting. Tommy Talao comes back into the side. He actually goes to centre and Kohler gets moved to the bench. So a big move there by Seabold. This one surprised me. Not so much you, Catman, do you? You're a big Tommy Talao fan. No, I just think he's been playing pretty consistently and I think a lot of the commentary after the game last mm. week was that people would have liked to see Talao. Obviously he was injured but mm. that uh, yeah, his consistency should be rewarded. I think he... He's played very well this season. He's been very useful in loads of different positions, but I think Kohler hasn't been quite as consistent as Talau. Yeah, it's a, it's a big call, but credit to Anthony Seabold. Uh, your game next. Yeah, not looking forward to this one. I'll tell you what, I reckon they scheduled this one very early in the season, probably pre-season for the 8 p.m. Friday night game. Yeah, it's not quite an 8 p.m. of these days, is no. it? No. Okay, so the Panthers to host the South Sydney Rabbitohs out in Penrith. This one kicks off at 8 p.m. on Friday, so it's a late game. This one almost feels like it could be an 8 a.m. Just quietly jammed just in there. Just settle down now, okay? <laughs> we get it. A couple of changes for the Penrith Panthers. Uh, Casey McLean and Dane Laurie out. I, I know Casey McLean was sick all last week apparently. Uh, was taken off the field with about 30 minutes to go. But he's out of the side and Dane Laurie didn't have his greatest game last week. He's also out. So Taruva and Alamotti come back in. Mitch Kenny returns in Jersey 9. And Luke Garner on the edge as well. He started off the bench last week. I do believe... You'll see Scotty Sorensen return next week. I think that's the plan, but Garner on the edge at the moment. For the Rabbitohs, big news, Cody Walker back in Jersey 7. Dean Hawkins came in last week, obviously. Cody Walker named. And the other news, Cam Murray has been named. Uh, the South Sydney Rabbitohs are obviously fighting that charge, so we'll see how that plays out. Cam Murray will either get a two-week suspension or a fine, and I think they're going to try and push for the fine. So we'll see how that one plays out. Mm. Super Saturday, Cat, what do we got? Super Saturday kicks off at Combank Stadium, the Eels to host the Dragons at 3 p.m. 
I'll actually be out this game out at the field club at a buck, so wish me the best of luck, Catman Do. Uh, the Eels, they are essentially 1-17. to 17. Uh, as, uh, Jake Tungo drops off the bench, so they're going with a full forward bench. Nothing big there. Dragons, pretty much 1-17. to 17. Is worth noting, Moses Suli on the extended bench. That would be a huge in for the Dragons if he returns just before finals. 5.30, Cat, what have we got? 5.30 game. This one is up in Brizzy. This is the Dolphins taking on the Broncos at 5.30 p.m. And there's a fireworks festival on, so I've heard that this is going to be quite spectacular. <laughs> what? There's a know. fireworks festival? There's a festival going on the same night. Okay, in Brizzy. cool. Love that. For the Queensland Derby. <laughs> they really threw you off with I that. I thought you were fucking with me at the start, to be honest with you. <laughs> no, no, there's actually something going on. So the, they're making a bit of a... Uh, an event out of the game. I believe we might get fireworks at full time. Or did you tell me that? Or no, we we've got inside knowledge from ah, the Dolphins. Okay, that I'll a shut bit, up then. A bit of stuff going on. Cool. Um, <laughs> that'll be fun. Hamiso at full. I'll just read you the Dolphin side because there are a few changes here and here. Uh, the the back line's essentially the same, guys. Hamiso uh, at fullback. Isako and Jack Bostock on the wings. Avrilo and Farmworth in the centres. Uh, Sean O'Sullivan comes in to replace the injured Cody Nicarima and Isaiah Katoa in Jersey 7. I have heard rumours that there could be changes to this Dolphin side. So just keep an eye on that just before kickoff if Wayne's playing silly buggers. The forward pack, though, looking pretty different. Obviously, Jesse Bromwich out. So Kenny Bromwich moves into the front row. He'll be with Mark Nichols. Max Plath stays in Jersey 9. The edges, Felice Cafusi and Connolly Lemuelu. And Ray Stone lines up in Jersey 13. The bench, Mason Teague, one of my boys we haven't seen in a little mm. while there. Oren Keeley, Tessie New and Kurt Donahoe. Haven't seen Kurt for a while either. So, uh, But there is a couple of talented guys on the extended bench there. Uh, obviously, young Hubner, who's going to South Sydney next year. Tavita Pango Jr., Trey Fuller, Anthony Milford. And the big one, Jeremy Marshall How King. good's that? Great to see. Yeah. So there could be mass changes there. I also wouldn't be shocked if Trey Fuller comes in and plays fullback and they move Hamiso to, to, to the centres to try and sort out their defensive mm. issues. But we will see there. Uh, for the Broncos, a little bit more subdued, thank God. Uh, Sailor is at fullback. Outside of that, nothing huge except Payne Haas. He has been named on the extended bench. So you would assume if they're naming Payne Haas, season on the line, must win stuff. I'm sort of expecting Payne Haas to feature in this one. So no sign of Reese Walsh. Late game Saturday, Cat. What do we got? Late game is at Shark Park in Cronulla. The Sharks are hosting the Warriors and this one kicks off at 7.35. Nicely done. Uh, <laughs> Sharkies, Sifa Talakai in the centres, obviously replacing Jesse Ramian who has been suspended. Hurts the old super coach side. Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah, good God. Sione Katoa, he comes back on the wing. But the big news, and I've got it in capital letters, because it'll be a big talking point this week. Nico Hines on the extended bench. So good to see a champion of our game returning this week just before finals. The big question, though, who drops out of the side for Nico? Mm. My money's on Trindle, but God knows what Fitzy's going to do. For the Warriors, uh, they've got an interesting little team list here as well. A few changes. Obviously, they've lost their two centers last week, Pompey and Roger Tuivasa Shek. So Tane Topiki lines up at fullback. DWZ and Montoya on the wings. Centers, Chans and Ali Leotau. I don't mind that. Uh, Luke Metcalf at 5'8, SJ at 7. Uh, the forward pack essentially remains the same. No other huge changes there. But uh, yeah, that back line looking a little bit different this week. What's next, Kat? Sunday. Mm -hmm. Sunday's action kicks off with the Knights to host the Titans at McDonald Jones Stadium kickoff at 2 p.m. McDJ Stadium we've got written here. McDJ. Pretty trendy. I don't mind that. <laughs> uh, for the Knights, Bradman Best returns at centre. Great to see. Sensational for that left edge just quietly. Uh, Dylan Lucas and Brody Jones will be on the edges. Uh, obviously, they lost Tyson Frizzell and Kai Pierce-Paul, who got attacked by a shark at halftime last week. So he's missing. Uh, outside of that, no huge changes. A few new guys on the bench which with uh, Thomas Kant coming back in. Uh, outside of that, not a stack to touch on with the Newcastle Knights. For the Gold Coast Titans, AJ Brimson uh, ruled out for the rest of the season. So Phil Sami, he returns at centre. Keep an eye on Dave Fafita. They swapped his sides last week. So he paired up with uh, Foles on the other side of the field, which is very, very interesting. Mm. Uh, so keep an eye on how that plays out this week. Last game, Kat, what do we got? Last game of the weekend, Roosters to host the Raiders at 4.05pm at Allianz Stadium. Upset. 
Call it. I reckon we get an upset here. Uh, for Raiders, the Roosters, Raiders just here upsetting everyone. Just upsetting everyone. That's what they're, they're in the upsetting business. Love that. Raiders, uh, they're essentially 1 to 17. No changes there, really. Uh, Ethan Strange still out for another week or so with his calf injury. Uh, for the Sydney Roosters, obviously, uh, Suali'i isn't available this week. Picked up an injury, so he'll be out for one to two weeks, I believe. Uh, I expected Satili Tupanua to jump in there. He's on the bench at the moment, and they've named Michael Jennings at left centre. Uh, so, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Satili does end up there because, my God, he was tremendous last week. Uh, the other Another one for the Roosters as well. Connor Watson returns this week. So good to see. Uh, he's in jersey 14, not his usual jersey 13. So keep an eye on that situation. Outside of that, the other big one, well, not a huge one. I don't think you'll see him this year, but uh, old Marky Mark from the Wallabies is on the extended bench, jersey 22. How good's uh, that? I watched him play New South Wales Cup on the weekend. He looked very good. Yeah. I think he will be a success personally. Um, so, yeah, one to keep an eye on there. You know but Pronounce his surname. Do you want me to do it? Yeah, can, can you do it, please? I can. I, I haven't mastered it yet. Noah Kanitawase. Yeah, I need to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely need to uh, learn. Because Maddie George's, who's helped us with a lot of our media. Yeah, they're mates, aren't they? They are really good mates uh, to the point where Mark has actually almost got a bedroom in, in Maddie's family home. We might have to get him in here just quite Yeah, I think we should because um, the, the George's family are very invested in – in the Roosters, yeah, but also in earth. Mark's career, so they're very excited to see him sign with the with yeah, the exciting. Roosters. I think he played his juniors at the Roosters too. Some junior rugby league coming yeah. through. I'm pretty sure he did. Um, so yeah, exciting. Uh, as I said, I got to watch him play in the Wales Cup last week, and I get it; it's reserve grade. Don't shit down my throat, but he looked impressive. He can only play what he's going up against, mm-hmm. and I thought he looked good. I reckon he's going to transition pretty well. So. Uh, I was about to throw to you for the next game, but that's us. That's us. Done and dusted. A huge teamless Tuesday for round 26, guys. Uh, d- just brace yourself for more changes. I wouldn't be surprised if there are a lot of changes uh, the hour before kickoff and 24 hours out. A lot of guys under clouds, a lot of stars on extended benches. Uh, so just keep a cl- close eye on it throughout the weekend for your super coach punts all the above because there's going to be a lot happening. Uh, thanks for joining us once again, guys, on the Rugby League Guru Podcast. We've got the catch-up coming your way tonight at 7 p.m. Yeah. 7? 7 p.m. 7 p.m. here on YouTube and on the podcast. It'll be live tomorrow morning as well. What did we touch on there? Joshy Schuster? Yeah, so we South talk Sydney about Rabbitohs. Josh Schuster's move to South Sydney Rabbitohs, our thoughts on that. Mm. Uh, we also looked at Tom Travoyevich's uh, – <laughs> He, he asked money, for fella. a pay cut and the NRL said no, but we just had a bit of a chat about him. I think I got to share a little bit of my, I guess, where my adoration for – tri- deep. It is deep. It's it deep. is deep. It's it's a nice full circle moment mm. for me just being able to talk about him on the Rugby League Guru podcast and then um, – we talked about a few other things, but you're going to have to tune in to you find out. You have to out. tune in. I'll tell you what, this is one of the guest rooms you're going to want to see. Oh, yeah. Tough pill to swallow. Very tough. Thanks for joining us once again, guys. We'll see you next time on the Rugby League Guru Podcast.